spreadsheets. Yeah, for over 15 years. And she'll be sorely missed by over here, but at least she'll be able to go. Morning, good. All right, Brett. Uh, right there, Annie. Just know you are going to be with us in this form. Forget that. Wow. The other day. You don't need them anymore. Or something to look like. Use it like a video. Oh, Mr. Bandy's rather tight. Whoa. Famously great to play. Happy uh, Thursday. We've got to see another potential customer and then somebody else after that. I know that's one of the first, well, the first biggest, bigger bathrooms that is for a customer. It's ten past ten, Thursday morning, glorious, really beautiful. I think I'll have the rest of the week off and then uh, back to it next week. <laughs> I've got a few more videos. The editing skills are getting better. I did two full videos yesterday. With a few effects, some kinetic writing and uh, I'm getting quicker at it. And more patient. It's like... It, it, Really, it's true what they say, the more you do something, uh, the better you get at it. And I think it's a main contribute with factories, and you've got to have a, an interest in it. If, you, if you're thinking to yourself, well, like a get rich quick, for instance. If you're not interested in that particular format or level, you, you're not going to get any money off it, because you're just putting yourself into it. For me, I just love doing video. It's not about making any money, I'm already earning money, but it's about just making the videos. Getting the content out there and uh, just doing it. That's what I enjoy doing, I just enjoy doing it. And even these particular videos are slightly different and I'm going to try and find a way to filter these in to what I'm doing. More and more I start doing it, the, the easier it's becoming. And at the minute, with certain new video creators, uh, whatever they're doing, either creating video or just creating content for marketing, should you script or should you uh, talk straight off the bat? Well, obviously, if you're driving, then you've got to be able to talk straight off the bat. But the main thing, I asked this question in one of the groups I'm in. It's a, it's a YouTube group. And it's amazing the response I got, especially for some pretty big heavy hitting YouTubers. Who all say the common denominator seems to be bullet points. Have a, have a bit of an, have a, have an idea of what it is you're doing and then make bullet points. And maybe do it on on your screen or have a bit of paper. And there's a there's a myriad of different things that people are saying, well you shouldn't be looking away, you could edit away the look at the look at and just do a jump cut or a transition. I tend to now the more involved I'm getting with it, I start to look at well how do they make films? How do they make films? And when you look at films they don't have fancy transitions. Uh, they just have pretty much like what they call a jump cut, they go from one scene straight to another and that's a jump cut. The writing it doesn't come screaming across the screen usually in a ball of flames unless it's a big like the Marvel film or thing like that. Usually a film is just a slow fade on and a slow fade off or a type on a type on. It is quite basic sort of stuff. There's a fair few YouTubers that I'm following. The uh, main one at the minute that I'm quite into is Casey Neistat. Now, if you don't know who he is and you're watching his videos, some of what he's doing is quite basic. He tends to do a lot of time lapse and outdoor widescreen photography and a lot of it is just it's ad lib talking to mates, talking to people, he's a famous guy what people might not realise about Casey Knight's is he's, 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 he's an actual he's a producer, uh, director, what have you in his own right, he's an actual filmmaker in his own right and when he dug into his why is why do I want to be doing this it, it, it made him realise that, you know he doesn't want to be a big film producer, he wanted to be a YouTube creator and that's why he does what he does. He makes a film every every day now for, for his channel called 368. <laughs> and how he does it, it's a three day turnaround. So in essence what he's doing is he's filming stuff every day and then he's editing it maybe the day after the third day. So 
when you see what the, the film that he lets go, it was on the editing floor of the day before, maybe, or the day before that, but it was filmed th actually three days ago or more. So that's what I mean by three day turnaround. Now, when all this sort of stuff started, started to come out and I, and I was watching it, I thought this is an awful lot of work. But on a smaller scale, I'm doing very similar myself and editing stuff and putting stuff together. And even when I'm working, I still come home and I can put a couple of hours in a night and get a video together. And it doesn't have to be perfect, we're not talking about Hollywood perfection. Just try and get something there and give some sort of content for your viewers. Because no matter what it is you've got, they want to, they want to see it. People do want to see what you've got. 